Okay, hey guys, how's it going? Let me turn my radio down a quick minute. So, um, uh, last night I was reading about Vara, that's uh, Victor Alpha Romeo Alpha, um, HF modem, and supposedly it's going to be replacing the Winmore protocol for um, the Winlink uh, network. So I decided, what the heck, let's give it a shot and, and see what happens. So the first thing that you're going to need to do, if you want to experiment with this mode, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get the latest beta of um, Winlink Express. And you can do that by going into, um, well, I don't really want to show it here uh, because... Um, uh, you would see personal information, uh, but um, if you go to the uh, Winlink Express uh, setup, uh, down on the lower right-hand corner, there's a checkbox you can check to uh, download um, the re recent uh, betas of um, Winlink Express. Check that box, hit the update button, um, and that should close out that window. And then in a few seconds, maybe up to a minute, uh, you should get a prompt saying, um, would you like to uh, download the latest uh, beta? Hit download. It will download it and do its installation for you. Restart the program. And uh, this is what you see now. Um, upon that, you won't notice much except when you visit the session uh, types here. Uh, you will see that we've added two new ones. RDOP WinLink and Vara WinLink. I haven't played with RDOP yet, and I hope to make a video about that soon, but it looks like the RDOP uh, stuff is integrated into the beta of uh, WinLink Express, uh, Express of this beta. Uh, so that will be fun to try out. Vara, what you're going to need to do uh, after you've updated to the beta, uh, go ahead and click on the Vara and open a... And, uh, Vara Winlink and open a session. Open your session and it should prompt you for um, a, uh, a dialog box uh, that says, uh, that gives you a download link. Uh, and you're going to want to download the Vara uh, HF modem. Uh, you do not want to download the Vara FM modem. Um, uh, that will... Uh, that will come later, um, I'm, I'm guessing, um, and that could be uh, very much like uh, VHF packet, I'm guessing. But you're going to want the Vara HF modem. So go ahead and download it, um, extract it, um, and then, um, yeah, unzip it, uh, and then you should be given a uh, setup file, and make sure you run that as an administrator. Um, they, they, it says that in the extraction right there in parentheses, it says run as an uh, admin. So run as the administrator. Um, so right click, um, run as administrator, follow the prompts, install it, and you should be good to go. Um, then uh, um, when you click on that download link that I mentioned a couple minutes ago, um, it should close out the Vara session and whatnot, um, so you should be back to a screen like this. Uh, once, uh, if that doesn't close for some reason, manually exit out of the session so you're back to this screen and only this screen. Uh, once that's done, uh, go ahead and um, uh, select Vara, um, which I'm sure it's already selected for you, but with beta, um, make sure. Um, and open a session, and this is what you should get. Now, I'm running the, uh, whoops, let me bring up the uh, thing here. There we go. Um, uh, the software um, uh, does cost money, unfortunately, um, but uh, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far, so I will probably um, uh, buy this, but I'm going to continue to evaluate for now. This is what you see. Um, now, something that you're going to need to do <clears throat> is you're going to need to adjust your filter, um, and you can use the waterfall as a guide. Um, that's what I did. So I adjusted my filter to, oh, 2.2K, um, for, uh, the bandwidth, 
um, 2.2K. Um, and, uh, yeah. So that's, uh, that's what I did, and I just used the waterfall as a guide, and that seemed to do the trick. Um, but uh, the other thing that I needed to do was I needed to come up to uh, the sound card, um, and uh, make just up my drive level a little bit. But that's it. Um, Vara set up here. Um, when you register, you can put in your registration key, number of retries, um, the CWID. I should probably enable that. Um, and we'll close out of that. Um, let's see. So that's all you need to do there. The sound card, just make sure that you select your radio. Um, and I'm using the 9100. Um, by the way, if you're running a 9100 to adjust your filter, hold down the filter button on the radio, um, and that will, um, uh, and that should, um, let you, um, manually adjust it. Uh, what you'll need to do is, um, hold it down and then hit the, um, the F1, the function one button, and then you can um, adjust your filter um, as uh, as needed. And then when you're done, hit the F1 button again, and then hit the filter button, and that will take you out of the uh, filter mode. Um, so, yeah, um, that's that pretty much. And then if you want to return to default, um, I believe you um, hold the filter button down, um, hit the F1 button, and then I think you can hit the... Uh, or hold down the F3 button, and yeah, there it is. And you just hold it down, and that will return um, the default value of what your filter was at before, which is uh, 1.2K. <clears throat> so I'm going to readjust the uh, filter here to uh, 2.2K again, and there it is. So we're back in business. Okay. Oops. Ah, sorry about that. There we go. Okay. So, uh, PTT, um, you're just going to let uh, Winlink Express uh, take care of that for you. Uh, and again, this is if you're running an ICOM radio. Um, and the waterfall, up to you. I just have it on. Um, and then I just have all these uh, gauges selected and everything. Over here on the session side of things, the nice thing is Vara... And Winmore use pretty much the same settings. So if you go to Vara TNC, this will look very familiar. Um, just make sure your ports match up uh, as the setup, and then you can see the location of the um, Vara program. And just make sure that you're using the standard home uh, IP address there, one twenty seven zero zero one. Radio setup. Just select your radio. Uh, make sure you're using uh, upper sideband digital, so that puts the D on your radio display in the upper left-hand corner. Um, COM6 is for me. Don't worry about any of this. If you're already set up with Winmore, you should not need to adjust any settings uh, in here whatsoever. Uh, you should be okay. Really, the only settings that you're going to need to worry about are your sound card, and the drive level. Those were the only things that I needed to do, although I do recommend going to VARA setup and making sure CWID um, is enabled. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try connecting to a station here. And the nice thing is uh, VARA is um, uh, showing up in um, the uh, propagation list here so you can see what's going on. So we're going to do this one because uh, I did it earlier and it seems to work. So let's, uh, let's start a session here. And it sounds very cool. Um, uh, it sounds really cool. But let's see if we can establish a connection now. And I'll turn it up. And um, the nice thing is, this works in really uh, poor conditions. I think 40 meters today is very bad. So, And this station is uh, several hundred miles away from me. I want to say it's probably like 200 miles away or something. And uh, it works. So fingers crossed. Let's try again. I tried about a half hour ago and it worked. Let's see what happens now. Um, it says the channel is busy. I don't think it is. We'll try.
There it is. Yeah, see, the single noise ratio is uh, not the greatest, but it is working. I can barely hear it. That's the thing. I can barely hear this go. And that's it. There's our session of uh, 1.3 uh, minutes. Um, that's uh, pretty good. Um, now, when I unlock, when I spend the money on unlock, unlock this program, I should get really good uh, results um, for the speed. So the session time should decrease um, as long as uh, the band conditions are pretty good. But I could barely hear, <clears throat> excuse me, I could barely hear that activity. Um, that was uh, going on there. So that was awesome. That was really, really cool. I'm glad that worked out. I'm very excited about that. So um, that's it, guys. I just wanted to show Vara um, with uh, um, running with uh, Winlink Express and um, showing you a protocol that uh, could be replacing Winmore uh, in the distant future, uh, possibly. So... Um, yeah, it's good seeing this stuff. I can't wait to try out RDOP, and we'll see how that goes. And uh, if uh, all goes well, I might upload two videos today. We'll see. But until then, 73s, good DX, and uh, catch everybody later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.